Friday, March 16, and I'm here editing my vlog. Last night I was really tired, I just knocked out. <laughs> Didn't even edit my vlog. And now I'm doing it and posting it in a moment. And also um, sending my song list to the band and booking my flights for upcoming shows. Start the day. Start the day strong. <laughs> Baby Lil Evelyn, call me the child whisper. Oh, she's adorable. <laughs> Good morning. What happened to her face? Her face is all red. <laughs> she's a child. Because she's laying on your dirty self. <laughs> it's all natural. Take a shower. <laughs> Take a shower. Poor thing, she has to, learn, she has to lay on dirt. <laughs> Poor thing has to lay on dirt. Oh, she sleeps so good. She's so good. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh. <laughs> You're forcing her to smile. <laughs> oh Hello. my god. Hello. Poor thing. <laughs> so cute. I'm going to go get something to eat, but before I head out, I gotta turn on my studio, make sure it's nice and warmed up. So by the time I get back home, I can grind in there. Also, before I go, I gotta put on my Neosporin on my nose where I cut myself. Make sure it's healed in time for the show this weekend. <laughs> I'm such a loser. I cannot believe I did this to myself. Hot Mess Express! Whew. It has been a long time since I took this truck out. I think today I'm gonna Take it out for a nice ride. My favorite pho in town. Pho Amor, let's go. No MSG. Here's my pho bowl. I have a kid's bowl and Mr. Q was having a regular bowl. Second stop is Ten Ren's Tea Time. After years of living in the boonies, this place is finally coming up. It's finally popping. People are gonna wanna come here and live and houses are gonna be booming and it's gonna be the it place to live. <laughs> Brand new, just opened in January. Look at that line. That's a long line for um, this area. <laughs> My jasmine milk tea. Yay! Last night I came home, didn't check the room, and now checking it looks clean. Thank you, Vin. He's occupied this room for at least three, four months, and he took good care of it, especially after leaving. I wonder if he did the sheets. I will call him and see if he did the sheets. Oh my God, look how yellow that pillow is. Third stop today, about to head out to get some Thai food. It's about 7.15 p.m. and hungry again. Belly's calling, says to eat, eat. The Little Buddha Thai Kitchen, and this is their menu. About the only Thai place in this area. First up, we have papaya salad, extra spicy. Next up is the yellow curry chicken, also extra spicy. Turn up, turn up the heat. And here, of course, I have to have my side of spicy stuff. Look at that, so good. Then we have spare ribs, garlic spare ribs, right here. Drunken noodles with tofu. And lastly, we have garlic shrimp. Look at all this over-ordering. Yes. Dinner with Mr. Kiwoo as usual. <laughs> with I. Him and I. Oh my god, all of this for like $64. So cheap. You pay. <laughs> About to head home, but Mr. Q here, he wants to be a romantic person and he said, you wanna go see a movie? I was like, well, if you're offering, I might as well. I haven't been to the movies in a moment. <laughs> We're going to watch Jumanji. We had a choice between Black Panther and Jumanji, but Jumanji was highly rated for um, viewers, like consumers, but for the um, the reviews for like critics, the more professional ones, Black Panther got a better review. So we're gonna go with consumers, cause you know, we trust the, the, the whole, um, what do you call it? The market. The Eastvale 14 movie theater, Edwards. Let's go! And 
of course, when we're at the movie theater, we have to buy overpriced popcorn. Yeah. Ah. The whole movie experience. Gotta buy the snacks. Extra large popcorn with extra butter and a side of Coke. Super huge, look at that. Inside the movie theater and of course, empty. Thanks to streaming. This is technology at its best. I ordered a large and that's all I could finish. Wasteful. There it is. I told you to buy a small, you don't listen to me. All right, so just got out of the movie theaters around 11.30 p.m. and it was quite interesting. Very entertaining, very different from what I thought. It was actually a game, a video game, not the roll of the dice kind of thing. So good job, Jumanji. And a nice night out with Mr. Kiwo. All right, let's go home and work. <laughs> Okay, while well, Mr. Keel's working in his office, I'll work in my office over there. All right, guys, back in the studio. Let's go. Here it is. Take off this thing. Should be warmed up enough. Going to start a new song. It should be warmed up enough. Let me see what song I'm on. I'm going to do a difficult one. It's a Vietnamese one. Let's see. You, my friend, my next victim. Oh my gosh, that's a lot, a lot, a lot of Vietnamese. Okay guys, it's going to be a long, long night. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see me go at this for like a few hours, so I'm going to sign out. Bye. By the way, wish me luck. Okay, bye for reals now. <laughs>